about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, pub's full. We're going to be leaving any minute now. We're just waiting for the bus. Can't see it yet. Who's the year by now? Um, Stockport away. Uh, they ain't been doing too well of late. They're not exactly a great team anymore. You know, they were pretty big, but then they've uh, they've slid down. We're better than them now. Um, I'm expecting us to go up there and win. Um, we need to heal some wounds. Uh, Tuesday was damaging for pretty much everybody involved, and not being able to play on Thursday may turn out to be a good thing in one way, but then it's going to clog up the fixtures on another day anyway. So uh, that doesn't really matter. But today, I'm expecting us to go up there and take the win. Uh, the way we played Tuesday, if we play that way, <laughs> if we take our chances, uh, it'll, it'll be a demolition job quite easily. But, um, well, never really say that when it comes to football. I mean, no one can ever really predict it, can they? You know, weird things happen all the time. Um, Going to be travelling up to the Riverside Tavern. Well up for it today. Really well up for it. Been buzzing about it all week. You know, and um, yeah, we got all all the regulars here. Good group of lads, which hopefully I'll get a few interviews with. So um, let's do it then, guys. Josh Gandhi. Uh, what's your name again? Callum Jones, yeah, and um, Billy Ingalls Jr. Okay, I'm we'll gonna start with you, Josh. How do you think the game's gonna go today? Um, we can win it two Excellent, mate. How about yourself, mate? Um, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a good game. Nice one. And uh, Ingalls Jr. I think we'll want the back of it when it comes on. Happy days. So, so a lot of optimism from the county youth then. Cheers guys. The one, the only Craig Shipley. Craig, how do you think the game's going to go today? Uh, good morning Chris, good morning on Newport County fans worldwide. I think the game is going to be a tight affair due to the weather conditions. Um, I think the players, they may say the level of performance that they showed on Tuesday, where they're unlucky to lose in the last minute against Kidderminster. I don't think we'll have any problems. I think Justin may give a better to the new lad. Boateng, he looks a very leggy player. Um, just to come into a flip because obviously Michael picked up the injury on Tuesday. So it's a packed pub, we've got three coaches going up there, and the Georgian Dragon pub are very kind to host them, so thank you to those guys, and I think it's going to be three points for the county. Cheers, mate. Okay, thank you. Guys, I'm with Miles Alley. He's a Sheffield United fan, but he's coming here to watch the county today. He's going to give us his take on what he thinks about our club. Go for it, mate. I mean, well, you still live in Newport. did for sort of three or four years now where I'm a 100% played big Yorkshireman, but when I can, I come and watch it. County with my number one man, Mr. Craig Shipley, and yeah. the number one fan as well. So uh, I'm mean, going to be postponed today, so I've got to come and share the love and uh, come and watch the county at Stockport. That's fantastic, that is, mate. So, how many county games have you seen over the years, roughly? Oh, not that many. I can count them on one hand, to be honest. But they're all memorable. Excellent. So. I think um, you were first to when um, Newmark County played Sheffield United. <laughs> Before he got promoted, Mark Milton, you might get out of here. That is certainly clap your hands. If you want a car to send it, clap your hands. If you want a car to send it, all a car to send it, all a car to clap your hands. Beautiful. Well, cheers, mate. Hope you enjoy the game today, alright? Brilliant. Love that. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, and Sando's quite fond of me by the looks of it. Fond of you, This is not good. This ain't good. This is this is just not good. Oh, well. That's fucking minging, that is. Uh, yeah, it was a, it's been a miserable day. But then um, we're, we're trying to enjoy enjoy the trip, but um, we've broken down. So, so I'm going to try and get some interviews. And Sando fucking eating my bastard here, right now. Luckily, we were back for him. And Andy Lloyd, what do you think of the game today, boys? Absolute gas. No passion. No passion. No pride. Next time we need to do more than that. More passion. More heart. More spirit. Simple as that. For us being a supposed informed team, playing against a supposed eight informed team. But it's wrong to win it. Because yeah. we should not be losing to winning. Some balls are going to be. Awesome, man. We, did, we, did we played very well. 
Yeah. Well against Kidderminster. Can we have a thought on the game? The game is uh, conclusion. What's that, mate? Can we have a thought on the game, please? Share with us shit, mate. Yeah, we just want to add what was just point the blue, please. The day went from bad to worse today. After the game, the day went from bad to worse. We left, leaving the pub in Hyde after a good day. And John Sanders got lost and left behind because he's having a bag of chips. I know the bus has broke down and he's waiting to go. We've got to take the pauses down and move on. All we've got to do is make the playoffs to be happy. Make the playoffs to be happy. Have a shame. bad news day because Steve Dance has left the club and he's going to need no more with that. All the fans are behind the, behind the club, we just need to get promotion. Yeah. 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 Why the playoffs? Yeah. Title beyond us. I think the title's gone from the last two games, it's gone. Playoffs though. You've got to play us in the bag, happy days, have a candy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Playoffs then, boys, yeah? Playoffs, playoffs mate. Playoffs. Realistically, the playoffs then, yeah? Playoffs, no problem. Yeah. Wembley, another doubt for all the fans, 13 times of Wembley. That's all we need is a playoffs, mate. We'll apologise for the Sando voiceover. Quite rude, obviously. Have a candy, have a candy. But, but we're, look, we're, look, we're looking at the playoffs then, boys. Nice one. Yeah. Keep the faith in, nice one. Cheers for that, boys. you, boys. This is Mikey and Togsy. I'm going to get your feel on the game today. Well, I reckon um, from the start to finish, we didn't even perform at all. Um, we made a couple of changes, but in the tactical or what, it didn't work. Um, we never had any release threat up front. We give away the we go, it was an own goal. They never deserved to win, but we still lost the game. It's going to sort it out before we get it. Take playoffs. That looks like right now. And the thoughts of Cully and Sarge, you know. Take it away, guys. Take it away, guys. On the day's game, on whatever you want to put. To be honest, whatever you want to say. I think we were shit. No, we were. Yeah. yeah. He set up for a fucking. Point but there. squad ain't good enough. Bollocks. We need Matt Sensor's investment, but I would don't like him. You guys on the trust, I'm going to bollocks and stand up and I'll stand up for yourself. <laughs> Is that fair enough? What's the bag? Everyone's in charge of their opinion. No, why not? What we brought in. John. We brought in nobody, but no bag of plans. No bag of plans, John. No, you're right. No plan B. Uh, no. Easy, easy. Oh, easy. We've, we've just brought, so we've just brought in a guy who I wouldn't sign for the fucking civil. So oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He ain't that fucking good. I believe it's in the market. I wouldn't sign it for these wedding stars. Yeah, that's fucking me. Yeah. To be honest, I watched him today. He's fucking rubbish. Boateng wouldn't even read his name. Hang on. Somebody's on the phone. Oh, it's Matt Soutor. Hold on, Matt. Mm. Hey, Matt. Hey, yeah, we were rubbish, son. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. oh, Edwards, that man you know. set off the point. Yeah. It didn't work. And we've set off the point. Hey, man, Sajid's broke up. Two counts, Sajid. Two counts, Sajid. Three counts, Sajid. But cons uh, guys, cons considering before before Tuesday night, right, we were the informed team and they've been out of form, should we really be looking for the win up there? But we were we really, we really informed team. No, we won. Two guys looking for most of the second half. Another one was level of times. Kitty means we were the informed team. We were the almost informed team. Well, we're Kidderminster, so we won five and drawn one out of our last six before we met Kidderminster on Tuesday. Yeah, but Kidderminster, the 119, played 19, 119. That's not fault. It's fault so. But I'm talking about Stockport though, considering we're more informed than what Stockport are. Should we have been looking for the win? 19th, 19th in the league, just above the Premier, just above the relegation. We are going up for the league. Are we good enough? John, what's Matt Sensor saying on the phone? Edward's not picking on him again, is he? I tell you right. Edward! I haven't picked on him at all! No, no, no. <laughs> Edward, the rubbish builder! Hey, Daddy H. <laughs> to be honest, right. we need everybody to grasp bands. Yeah? All go together. Stop lying about the investment and the consortium. Stop the lying. And the board ain't willing to do it. All right, cheers for that, guys. That's great stuff. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, I'm here with Paul Oi. For me, sorry about the, the picture. I'm low on battery. I can't get a flash, but we can see him. So, Paul, I take your thoughts on the game today. What do you think? Well, I tell you what, if that's the best side we can put out and the position we're in, there's something wrong. I always say,
thing is to get the board, to put their hands in their pockets, get some players in, and let's go for it. So we ain't going to go for it. Why are we as fans wasting our money going all the way up to Manchester? It's simple as. That's, that's a great a point, Alice. That's a great point. Yeah. It's a competitive team. To say that was not competitive. I mean, for me personally, it's the worst I've seen us play all season, yeah? And we got footballers, and they were on a good pitch today. What was the excuse, do you think? There can't be an excuse. At the end of the day, Chris, all the teams around us are strengthening. And what are we doing? Just getting someone in to fill a gap. It's not good enough to sort it out. I say, we've got some big names at the club at the moment, yeah? How hey, do you think it's best to use them? Well, listen, we've got too many injuries going into the last month of the season. If we're going to have any hopes of getting us, let's strengthen them. Not when it's too fucking late, which possibly could have already happened. Fair play to Justin, he's playing what he can. Yeah. If all the not back in him, something needs to be done. So if there's no promotion this season, investment next season, yeah? Well, without a doubt, mate, but are they going to do it? We'll see you about that, won't we? Cheers, that, Paul. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hello. Um, I had to wait all today, the next day, to record my end bit to this blog. Um, basically, my phone died because we were stuck up in Manchester for a lot longer than we expected. Um, bad performance in my eyes. Uh, that's not a title-winning team that we played yesterday. We're far from it, to be honest. Um... I think we'll more than likely be looking at playoffs now. Not because we are not good enough to get enough points to win the league. It's just the teams around us seem to be too good that they're not going to drop enough points. Um, you never know. I mean, this league's been very unpredictable this season, you know. Um, we can definitely turn this little blip around. And I say we'd won five on the bounce. The draw at Ebbsfleet, missing that penalty was... How bad that I like, you know. But then Kidderminster didn't deserve to lose that game. We didn't even deserve to just draw it. We deserved to win that game. And Stockport, I'd, I'd go out and say of all the performances that I've seen this season, that other than Wrexham away was the only time that we didn't play well enough to get anything from the game. Um, I know you can say the Forest Green 5 0, but that was an end to end game where Forest Green took five chances and we didn't take any. And we could have quite easily have been on the end of that scoreline ourselves. Um, no, I, I mean, the league's taken a bit of a twist, haven't it? Um, Kidderminster from the first five games were down the bottom end. Uh, Mansfield had had a bad start, didn't even look like they were going to make playoffs. Um, everyone thought that uh, Luton and Forest Green instead of Kidderminster and Mansfield, was going to be the top five. So that's kind of proven my point there. This league is pretty unpredictable at the moment, so we don't know that we're not going to win the league now. We just know now that it's improbable that we'll win the league now. Um, I'm keeping my faith in our promotion chances, because uh, a bad performance, one bad performance, doesn't make a team a bad team. You know? And... I know Michael Boateng has been getting a bit of stick. I mean, he didn't have the best debut in the world, but then he was on he was on a, a team that didn't play well together. Um, so I think it'd be bad to judge him purely on that game. Wait until the team doing a bit better and see what he's got to offer um, to a better team performance. Um, I think at the moment we are missing people, and I think that I think we got a couple of players who were off a bit of form. Um, O'Connor didn't have his greatest game for us yesterday, but um, you know, the effort was there. There was a bit of sulking and stuff like that, but then footballers, and you, know, you can't understand what it's like on that field. It can get very frustrating if things are not going your way. So, um, yeah, you do tend to find that some footballers are sulk about some things. But um, Jolly offered nothing for us yesterday, which was a bit of a surprise. He's usually right in there and right in the mix of it, and he just didn't really seem to have anything to offer us yesterday, but um, like I say, one game, he's been so good for us this year, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put him down over one game. Um, where do we go from here now? Playoff finish, um, Wembley final, promotion to League Two, 
that's how I think it's going to happen this season. I think we're going to go up through the playoffs as long as we put our fingers out. All right. So um, what I was also going to say is my monthly roundup is going to be this week, and I'll, it would be nice to have a few questions off a few people to answer. You know, so um, feel free. I mean, pretty much all of you know me through Facebook, at least on the message board or Twitter. Um, fire some questions over. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And um, away from that, then we're looking forward to a Tuesday night game away at Southport. I can't make it, but um, hopefully, whoever does get to go up there has a good trip and um, brings three points back for us. All right, cheers for that, then, guys. Up the table.